Thank you for joining us for our video about Board of Directors responsibilities. My name is Lauren Chikowski and I am an attorney with the Community Law Project of the Chicago Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights. The Community Law Project provides free legal assistance to Chicago-based economic development and social service nonprofits and eligible entrepreneurs for their business legal needs. The following video is part of a series we developed for persons serving on nonprofit boards to understand the role of the board of directors. The videos cover one, board responsibilities, two, fiduciary duties, three, directors and officers responsibilities, four, conflicts of interest, five, the relationship between the board and the executive director, and six, recruitment and orientation. If you have any questions about the content of this video or need pro bono legal assistance, please email us at clp at clccrul.org or our, visit our west, website at, listed at the conclusion of each video. This video is on Board of Directors responsibilities. The Board of Directors is the governing body of a nonprofit. It has three fiduciary duties, the duty of care, loyalty, and obedience. For, more, for a more detailed explanation of these duties, please watch our video on fiduciary duties. The overall responsibility of the Board of Directors is to act in the best interest of the overall nonprofit organization. Board members must set aside their personal interests when making decisions in their role as director. If a nonprofit is a membership organization, that means the board must govern a nonprofit in accordance to the member votes and resolutions enacted per the bylaws. This also means that if a director is both on the board and a member, they must be extra careful to keep their individual member interests from affecting their role and decisions on the board. In addition to the fiduciary duties and acting in the best interest of the overall organization, the board has the following top 11 responsibilities. Setting the mission and vision of the organization. This is the main responsibility of the board, both in the startup stages and throughout the nonprofit's life. Setting the mission and vision of the organization will dictate what the nonprofit does, how it operates, who and where it will serve, and as well as how it will grow. Without a clear mission and vision for the nonprofit, the next 10 responsibilities will be difficult to accomplish effectively. Creating a plan for the organization. Creating a plan for the organization goes beyond just determining a mission and vision. It includes business planning, setting long and short term goals, and determining how to achieve them, outlining target markets for the communities that the nonprofit wants to serve or is serving, identifying potential funders and a fundraising plan, as well as figuring out a budget, which is really key if you're going to apply for 501c3 tax exemption status. It also includes figuring out if you need to hire staff or create programming. Having a solid plan for a nonprofit in the early stages will help navigate growing pains and road bumps with more ease. Knowing where the organization is going and how it wants to get there will also help stay on mission and vision. Determine programs and projects. Not all nonprofits will provide programming in order to achieve its mission. However, all nonprofits have projects. Projects can be both external facing, such as providing food to students in a before school, or internal facing, such as developing a data collection program uh, of the nonprofit's donors. The board, with its plan in place, will know which projects need to be accomplished and when. And if the nonprofit does provide programming, it is the board's responsibility to determine things like what programs they're going to provide, who's going to run them, what the content is, etc. Selecting the executive director. This is one of the more important responsibilities of the board, as the executive director is the person that will be making the day to day decisions of a nonprofit. With that, also is supporting and evaluating the executive director. The executive director reports directly to the board of directors and it's the board's job to enable and support the executive director in their role and help them accomplish their, their goals and their job. Uh, it's also important for the board to regularly evaluate the executive director and provide feedback in order to address issues before they become a problem. For more information about the role of the board and the executive director, please watch our video on the relationship between the board and the executive director. Recruit, train, and evaluate board members. It is the board's responsibility to make sure that they're actively looking for and training their own replacements. 
Depending on the bylaws, board members may be rotated out after a period of time, or they may even have lifetime appointments. But it's important for the board to be prepared for a time when they're no longer serving. And the goal of the nonprofit should be to outlast its board members. And to do so requires active recruiting, training, and continued evaluation of existing board members. Build strong public standing of the nonprofit. The board of directors is the public face of the nonprofit. Each director is a representative of the organization and should use that role in building strong public standing of the nonprofit. That means talking positively about the organization's mission and programs, actively working in the communities, communities that it serves, and behaving in a way that brings positive light to the organization. Ensure adequate resources to carry out its work. The board must ensure that the nonprofit has enough resources in order to carry out its mission and vision. This means having adequate funding, being connected or having access to the right people, or having the right supplies, support, or space needed to accomplish its work. Manage resource and risk effectively. The board's job is to make sure the nonprofit has enough resources throughout the year in order to accomplish its goals. Risk is inherent with any endeavor, and it's the board's responsibility to navigate risk effectively in order to both accomplish the nonprofit's mission, but ensure the nonprofit survives to accomplish its vision. Maintain integrity and accountability. The board is subject to its donors, and if it's a membership nonprofit, the organization's members. The board must maintain its integrity in upholding its fiduciary duties and responsibilities, as well as stay accountable to donors. Its, its members and the government in order to stay compliant. Delegate work to committees. The last responsibility of the board is, if the bylaws of the organization allow, is, and it is necessary, to delegate work to committees. The board will always review committee work and make sure that, make the final decisions based on the recommendations, but it may be a better use of time and resources if a committee works on the problem instead of the entire board of directors. So use them wisely and effectively. That's it for the top 11 responsibilities of the Board of Directors. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions about the content of this video or need pro bono legal assistance, please email us at clp at clccrul.org or at our website listed here. Thank you.